TIFU by choosing Spirit Airlines. Background I am a member of a Native American tribe. And therefore I get free basic dental and medical care at certain Indian health clinics. I do not have any documentation proving that I am a tribal member as I lost it years ago. But my dad does and he is located in San Diego. I have severe GERD and it does serious damage to my teeth. Brushing and flossing can only do so much to help when constant acid is rising from my esophagus. I don't have insurance and it's not easy for me to get care so I have kind of just been using daily Tums and hoping for the best however. A few months ago all my teeth started falling apart. At least two of them have chipped and I have multiple painful cavities all over my mouth like more than 10 and my mouth hurts excruciatingly whenever I chew anything. Maybe I need root canals IDK. Not wanting to surrender to dentures. Two months ago I called the Indian Health Clinic near my dad and they said they would accept my dad's tribal membership as proof of my own and I scheduled the nearest appointment out. Which was for this afternoon. The way it works is that if they do an initial examination and it shows emergency work is needed. They can schedule me to come back in the following days and I won't have to wait two months in between. So I booked a non-refundable hostel for a week and a plane flight for Spirit Airlines to get me there several hours before my appointment. This was the fuck up. But it was the cheapest option and the trip was going to take all of the money I could spare. If I had paid a little more with a different airline or to get there a day early this wouldn't have happened. I got to the airport at 4 a.m. Checked in. And sat at the gate. Right as everyone was preparing to board. The spirit employee behind the counter at the gate suddenly announced the flight was cancelled with no explanation. People were saying it was because the pilot didn't show up but I have no idea if that's true. After waiting in line to talk to the spirit employee. They have no flight they can rebook for me until tomorrow. Well past my appointment. She told me she could give me a refund on my $120 ticket that I could shop around at other airline counters with. But those tickets were for $500. I decided to get it on credit. But the travel app wouldn't sell it to me because I had another similar trip leaving it around the same time and when it finally let me confirm I wanted it anyway. It had just sold out while I was booking. The remaining tickets are now $1,200 and I can't afford that. There is no way for me to get to my appointment and save my teeth. By the time I could do this again in several months it will definitely be too late. TLDR chose to fly spirit and now I lose all my teeth and continue living in agony. Honestly. You probably could have stopped at TIFU by choosing spirit airlines. And we would have all nodded and understood right away. Omeprazole is over the counter my dude. And go look up heartburn precautions what foods to avoid and don't eat late at night. Get a wedge pillow. Etc. And go see a doctor. Untreated GERD leads to cancer. Struggled with it for years. One round of Omeprazole and it's been in check ever since. Honestly felt like a miracle. Hi friend I'm also native and I was able to replace my CDIB and tribal ID pretty easily after losing it. You'll just need to get in touch with your tribe's enrollment department. They can either issue you a new one or start from scratch with a new application. It makes life a lot easier being able to go to any IHS clinic with these cards. So you don't have to worry about traveling as far. Best of luck and I hope your teeth get all of the care that they need. Sorry about your flight. Call your dentist. They might have had a dropout and are able to reschedule you tomorrow.
Spirit Airlines rescheduled my connecting flight so that it departed before my first flight was scheduled to arrive. I had a negative layover time. I spent 24 hours stuck in fucking Orlando no compensation for lodging, food, anything. And the best part was they forced me to pay again to recheck my bags. Every single spirit employee I talked to was at best either stone-faced dismissive or outright rude. Fuck spirit. Gross. Uncleaned. Uncomfortable winged buses weren't even worth the price anyway. Look for a college in your area with a dental school. They are almost always looking for patients to practice on and you get the free cheap dental care. You need. 36 year old here with dentures from vomiting my whole life cause of gastroparesis and GERD. Life changing. Best decision I've ever made. I hope you can save your teeth. But crowns and root canals do fail after a certain amount of years yay ours. Not immediately. So please don't let me discourage you. But dentures are not the end of the world. I hope you find relief from the pain. I know how awful it is. So sorry OP that is frustrating AF. Seattle, Washington has a tribal health center that helps track your tribal documentation so you can qualify and now have their own dental services too. Cowlitz Tribal Health. Any tribe. Maybe give them a call and see if they can help you. You have the right to 4x the amount you paid for a flight if it was cancelled like that. Unless something's changed recently. Sorry that doesn't help you now. But knowledge is power. I had a flight cancelled with Spirit this weekend that prevented me from attending a dear friend's wedding. That was after swearing to myself years ago that I would never fly Spirit again. I played myself as well and I truly feel your non-dental pain. I had a non-refundable hotel room booked for the weekend. They refunded me after I told them that my flight was cancelled. Definitely see if you can get your money back from the hostel. That's shitty. But from the sounds of it you weren't saving those teeth. You def should be on omeprazole or something better than Tums. Don't they need to compensate you with like 3x the ticket price? I'm sorry. Optums didn't do much for my GERD. I recommend the stronger meds like Prilosec, Nexium, etc. You can get generic versions in my experience. Walmart is cheapest for buying bulk OTC meds. And I feel you on the teeth issues from all the acid erosion I'd look into dental schools in. Your area. Yes they're students but anything will be done under the supervision of a licensed dentist. Like others said. Get omeprazole. It's a little costly but look around for sales and coupons. Spirit should have rebooked you on a different flight or refunded your ticket. Not give you a few shut up dollars. If the replacement flight was the next day. They should have paid for the hotel and for meal vouchers for all meals between the original flight and the new flight. It would not have fixed your appointment problem. But now they took your money and provided no services whatsoever by handing you a mere $120 back. From the $500 you have them. Check your rights when flying. Specifically, the only time your rights are somewhat limited in refunds if it's a delay due to weather. I think the real fuck up is not flying in a day before your appointment. Yeah that may seem excessive and I know spirit sucks but airlines do these days to some degree. These days. If I 1000 have to be at a place on a certain day and I have to fly there I'm landing there the day before not seven hours before. A shit ton can go wrong in seven hours as you have found out. Sorry that happened don't mean to sound harsh but seriously that's the real fuck up. Jesus I wish I could help but I'm about to start college.